Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you. And welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, never mind. This way. Oh. What's the plan? Resurrect the elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Ah. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans... they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst. If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect! You're a Therian. You're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Oh. Hmm. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Ho-ho! Oh, so if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand, but I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there! It's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Oh. Naturally. Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. It's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. <laughs> Mount Killeraus is north of Helleviz. I mean, it's kind of using the souls of others that are already souls, but for a greater good. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. The no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. 
But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief, and sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that, turning them into a puppet, it's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah, the heart is eternal. Oh, Magi. Uh, I need to go to... Okay, thanks for... Oh my gosh. I see. Or a calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are, without a doubt, the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Storm Howl. <laughs> <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken... Humanity will be robbed of their free will! I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed! And the world is free of malevolence! Hurrah! <laughs> hurrah! <laughs> Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Uh, something's coming! Oh no, come on, don't tell me Sanidra or something. I was joking last time. Oh my god, anime ver oh my god, what the hell is coming? Don't tell me it's a phoenix or I, I see something, a line. Oh no, it's the... What it is? Is the eagle I need to watch? What I need to go see? Is the eagle? It's already starting. Hey, uh, please, guys, let's not fight. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the hell? This is a domain? Enominat's domain! Their wills have been stolen! It's not been fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking. Wake him oh. up! Oh? On it. Aizen! Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexen! <sighs> ah! I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh no! Look! It's that merchant! You're all right! I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Huh? No, wait! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No, it's not right! <laughs> you can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorias' uncompromising world of reason. Oh. First they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here, unless you'd rather not see. You're right, I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. You know me not suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melchior came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Enominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns, too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? <laughs> Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along, then. 
So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression. Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. Dude. I was a fool for trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Empyrean's throne. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made through deception. In an effort to change my malevolent ways, I sold my shop and entered the Holy Priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings to all. Wow, look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Inominat suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating. And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. <laughs> what? The hell? I love all the aspects of this game. God damn it, the story is perfect. Dark, but perfect. And I love that. Hey, you're Kakiku's menagerie. Ooh, close. It's Magilu's menagerie. I apologize for always demanding that you entertain me, despite my inability to even remember your name correctly. I'm also sorry to you, miss, for always insisting you do that tedious little bird impression of yours. I feel so bad I could just punch myself. Nay, I must. I'm not sure if I'm more angry or confused. It is wrong to seek pleasure from viewing petty tricks and pointless entertainment. Honest hard work alone is right. Someone such as I, who was unable to live in accordance to the simplest of truths, should disappear from this earth. Please, use that special trick you told me of. Make me disappear forever. <laughs> what freak? Excuse me? Oh, I cannot. We are going to the Black Wings, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm like logress, logress, and be like, it's, it's right in front of you. Stop looking. Yeah, the same monsters. Oh my God! Hey, the distance they are seeing me. Hey, what the hell? Hey, stop it! Am I full? Yeah, I'm full. I don't want to. Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm, everybody is getting mad at me. Why are their monsters still here? Just asking. We must accept that we all grow old. I can no longer perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. I must find a place far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. No, no, shoo shoo, no. I just want to talk to this guy. Pets consume precious resources and grant no tangible benefit to society. That's why I say we should throw them all back outside. It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. They have been purged. This is all for the new order. But I want to keep my rhino stagros. Ain't nobody getting my rhino stagros away from me. It was the height of foolishness for a lowborn person like me to hold on to romantic fantasies about Prince Percival. I should seek a male companion suitable to my social status and live a life free of pointless desire and pride. Form, beauty, appearance, all are superfluous. Reason dictates that I seek a biological partner who lets me live my life with greater efficiency. While what she's saying isn't technically wrong, it really, really creeps me out. I know I, I'm just, I just played Berseria and I'm just here in Berseria. Even the capital is silent as death. Inominat's power did all of this. A god among gods. Yeah, I know this is my second Tales. And I know I just played Vesperia before Berseria. Berseria? <laughs> like, you are in the sky. <laughs> well, Vesperia is it's normal. But Berseria, goddammit. It's not because 
theme is dark. Okay, yes, I love that stuff, but it's kind of because the story is one direction per se and the characters are involved in the direction we're going and together they go through one direction at, at, at one point of the story and I know what the story is about. Not changing the... Uh, why I'm explaining this now? Fountains are purely decorative and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes, we cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. I thought I needed to go to the... I cannot even enter. Alright, alright, I see it. I'm like, why are we going inside, inside? Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. Black wings, red wings, red blood wings. <gasps> Mommy! That was a child. What? Mommy! Oh! Oh! I'm scared! Mommy! <laughs> Don't show any feelings, dear. Oh, if they please. spot you, they'll... Oh, We're not fighting demons, now we're Prince fighting... Prince Percival! Tabitha! You're still you! Oh, go away, fuck you. The hell are you? Resistant to eating normally, goddammit. Why are you making it so difficult my changing? Okay, nothing is normal here. Wait. I'm like, you can use this, Maggie. You're free to use this one. This no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm like, whatever you want. Except the jumping, jumping one. It looks like it. So. No. Yes. All right, we're ready. Let's go. In the capital? What? The molecule. Devour. blue. Well then, let's move on. Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl... Looks like those Malachim took them away somewhere. The Prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the Prince, and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs, then. You got it. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, uh, the, the church. Got it. I'm like, where it was the catacombs? Right. 
I'm trying to remember which way it leads. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those that keep shop got free will. Or will they give me free things? No, I didn't try to make it rhyme because I just see that it rhymes or whatever. No, I I really like I don't care about money. Take my things. Am I going to merge? But they, they want me to, to come here, right? Oh, yeah. So those weren't demons. They were Malakim. Yes. They were probably ordered to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Enominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malakim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince, or a little girl. I wonder if Tabitha's alright. I don't think she'll be suppressed so easily. Aye. She's got more grit than the average soldier. But even if she resists suppression, if the Abbey finds her... She'd stand out even more with us. She ran an entire shadow network. Finding a place to hide will be child's play for her. Maybe she was just pretending to be an old woman. Huh? But I really loved Tabitha's cooking. I'm just kidding. You don't run into a woman that tough every day. She's been living in society's shadows since before we were born. If she heard you were worried, she'd laugh and say you're wasting your time. Then we should be on our way to the villa. I'm like, in case I must kill me. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost say back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go, 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 Power Ranger. What the hell is going on with me? Uh, cooking. No, 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 no. How to cook. I guess you fish. Oh, I can do a little, a lot of this one. Oh. Jump if you like it. Okay, which is the village? City side, city side. I'm like, really, which way was the village? Do I need to click this? No, I saw already everything is clicked. Got it. God damn it, I didn't take the boarding stop. I was like, there is no monster, they are monsters. No, no, don't come, don't come. No, shoo, shoo. Okay, get inside. No monster, right? We are doing great. Yes. Yes, girl, yes. Oh my gosh, looking at me. Oh, it looked at me. Oh my, oh, okay. Normally, monster will have touched me in that little, little tiny space, but I'm glad he didn't. I already fell them, already fell them. Jump. Uh, okay. Villa side, okay. Villa, the villa, villa. El lado de la villa. Vamos a la villa, todo el mundo. Juntos. Sin parar. Corriendo. Oh, miren. Son las escaleras hacia la villa. Porque vamos... Ok, I am now. Shut up. I guess the villa is the... Ok. Go away. I'm busy. Oh my gosh, busy. No! I got everything full. Yeah, it's, it's still full. Wait, whoa. Ah, oh, right, the little space. Yeah. How can everybody go through that? Really, I want an explanation. I want to see them crawl. Okay, there it is, and there is a save point. Dude, Fee has, like, oh, whoa. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Hey, we ju I just met Silva and Silva is already gone. And I was here thinking like Silva was going to be with me. All right.
But Silva did have some consciousness, you know? Very fast. Oh, here, here I read a lot of things. About the disease and all that. Now, where do you want me to go? Worship Hall, I guess. Am I going on the right place or not? I'm thinking it's this way. Yeah, worship hall. Oh, oh. No, it's not sexy going like a skateboard person down there. Good times, Eleanor, right? Ha ha ha. Oh. Okay, I cannot see. For a moment, that. My mind is... A channeling circle! He's eating their will directly! Oh, is he gonna fucking fall? Oh my gosh, never mind. Hey, Fertile Blue! Uh, Part hey, 4! Hey, 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 like hey, it's almost hey, like, hey, like we're a bunch of heroes. Hey, not fair! Hey, you were supposed hey, to say hey, like hey, what? Watch hey, down! The hey, end is too slow! Hey, Fertile Blue! Uh, Just to make sure. What? Shameful to be Thanks. I think I need to change. Hey, for the blue. Hey, for damn it. Hey, for the blue. Is that one hit and I die? I think that's it. Prince Percival, are you all right? <sighs> yes. Thank you. Well, I know I can still feel scared out of my wits, at least. <sighs> it's all right now. We'll help you find your mommy, and then... Mommy I'll... was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. But that's okay. They had to. Mommy was acting against reason. <sighs> Thank you.
So this is the true face of their suppression. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepherd Artorius. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. But I will never consent. A world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. You suppose the whole world's like this now? No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. Right. I can feel Inominat's domain spreading even now. It's incomplete but it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up, and then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> Prince, Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. <gasps> I'm happy. Truly. Until now, I thought I was just a tool to serve my country. But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you, but I beg you, stop all this. Stop Shepherd Artorius. You said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And now I say this to you. People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. Yeah, that's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. You've changed, haven't you? Yes. You really have. Oh. You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. <laughs> Even if I still don't know when to sheath it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. Uh, my, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your side. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. <laughs> Eisen, about Captain Eifried. I dealt with him. But the Abbey, they stomped all over Eifried's pride to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. Then I'm going to be selfish, too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. Well, I'm pumped. Who wants to go <laughs> cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, sword for brains. We gotta prepare. We stick to the plan. Wake up the four Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from him. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete until the Scarlet Night. Will they complete the ceremony first, or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. Well, moping won't get us anywhere. Let's head to Mount Killerhouse. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression. Oh, oh, oh you told him, girl. <laughs> All right, they're safe. <laughs> guys we gonna let it to the hero <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and see you next one if you guys want all the lights are passing by and all my thoughts they multiply 
I see it flash before my